This is problem number 17 from the June 2014 Algebra Regents exam. In this question, we're given the function f of x equals 1 third x plus 9. We need to find out which one of these four statements is always true. And it's all about comparing, taking a look at x and f of x. So I think it'd be quite helpful to create a table of values here. I've got f and f of x. So the first point says that f of x is less than 0, meaning it's saying, is f of x always going to be negative? And we can quickly disprove that by, let's say, giving an x value of 0. Um, f of x would be 1 third times 0 plus 9, which is just 9. And that's not negative, so that's clearly false. For option number 2, it's saying that f of x is the opposite. It's always going to be positive. And again, we can quickly disprove that by giving a really negative x value. For example, let's say negative 100. Because if we did 1 third times negative 100 plus 9, I'm not actually going to calculate that exact number right now, but you, it's clearly going to be a negative number. So this is not true as well. Now let's take a look at the third one. It says that if x is negative, if, f, if x is le less than 0, then f of x will always be negative as well. So to disprove that, we got to try to find a negative x value that gives a positive output, a positive f of x. Let's try something that's close to 0, like negative 1. So then if we do 1 third of negative 1 plus 9, you can see that we would get a positive number. So that means this is also not necessarily always true. And that leaves us with option number 4. If x is positive, then f of x is also always going to be positive. And hopefully you can identify by looking at the function that that is always going to be true. Because it's one third of a positive number will give you a positive number. And then if you add 9 to it, it's still going to be positive. So that one's always going to be true. Okay, hope well, that makes sense. And thanks for visiting JD's Regions Preparation.